With the light over my eye that way, do I look a little bit like David Bowie? So this morning has been a bit of a disaster already. Um, I had my alarm set for like 6am to come down here and photograph the sunrise. I woke up and it was raining um, a lot, <laughs> so I went back to bed. Um, it's now really sunny, as you can probably tell by the overblown everything around me. Um, I'm just out of the car, I've just got uh, to Penarth and I'm going to take some photographs. So um, hopefully the rain holds off for a little bit and we can actually, actually do something. Hopefully you can hear me because I'm using a microphone and it's the it's got the longest wire in the universe attached to the camera at the other end of this um, And this is the first time I tried using it outside uh, so yeah um, Like I said it was meant to be okay this morning So I set my alarm to wake up for sunrise to come down here um, and I, when I woke up it was it was raining quite a lot So uh, I went back to bed um, However, it's a few hours later now and as you can see Pretty glorious sunshine. So I have got with me here my Olympus OM1. Uh, I've got some Kodak Color Plus in here. Going to take some photographs down here on the beach um, for a little bit this morning. Um, I've also got my Bronica in my bag, which is just behind the camera out of shot. I'm going to take some shots with that as well. We've got Ektar in there, um, and then probably get a coffee and then probably go somewhere else. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, so it's a few minutes later and um, you, you can see it's already darkened up quite a bit. I'm going to try and take a photograph of this, this uh, composition here, and then I'm probably going to go back to the car. So I quite like the composition here. Um, this uh, slipway that leads down towards the shore itself. Um, again, with the uh, pier in the background there. We've moved to the other side now. Um, as you can see, the sun's come back out. <laughs> uh, it's really changeable the weather already. I've been here, what, about 45 minutes to an hour, and it's it's looked like it's about to hammer down and then been bright sunshine, and now it's sunny again, so. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna take a couple of shots around about here. Um, I think on medium format, it probably isn't gonna to stretch to fit in all of this stuff. So um, yeah, it might take a few just to, with some different compositions. Hopefully you're ready to hear the strangest thing I'm gonna say on this video. I've tried a, a couple of compositions with this tyre. It's not a phrase I thought I'd ever say. Um, yeah, I, I, one thing that's confused me is how the hell did this get here? I'm, I'm quite far away from the road. Um, there is a sheer cliff to the left and there's the sea to the right, so unless that's fallen off a ship and washed ashore once, I don't know how it's got here. That's too heavy for someone to carry all the way here. Uh, so this appears to become the uh, random beach debris photography day. Uh, just come across this huge chain just lying in the beach. So I'm going to photograph this. Um, no idea how old this is. <laughs> it's probably it's probably like six months old. <laughs> it's just washed up, but um, it could be hundreds of years old. So we'll pretend that it's hundreds of years old and it's an antique that's washed up on the beach. So this entire area is usually completely underwater. Um, that building-y wall thing you can see there on the left, that's uh, the entrance to Cardiff Bay. Uh, boats go in and out through that, that's the lock for it. Um, two smaller boats actually did just come out and have uh, sort of gone out to sea through the right. There's a, there's a bit of a channel that you can uh, probably can't see, but they, they've, they've gone over there. So yeah, this is usually completely underwater. Um, I've never been able to walk this far out um, by here before so I'm going to take some photographs 
oh well, I have to bathe from this angle because it's not an angle that usually I can get to. 